Hey guys, it's Angie and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm doing something inspired by Crimson Peak, which is Guillermo del Toro's newest film. And I saw it a couple days ago. I gotta say, it's beautiful. It spoke to me so hard. It's Victorian, it's gothic, it's romance, there's some blood, there's some just beautiful scenery in typical Guillermo del Toro fashion. So I highly suggest the movie, and this isn't sponsored by the movie, I just really felt inspired to create this on my face. And this is actually from a poster that is used to advertise the movie, I thought it was beautiful. So here we go, I glued some latex strings on the face, and I'm wearing a cape in 90 degree weather, so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Otherwise, let's get the tutorial started and thanks for watching. To start this one off, I have covered my eyebrows with glue stick, two to three layers should be good. And now I'm going to be using a dark red lip liner. This one's from Graftobian, it's called Sultry Siren. Dark, nice red. And I'm going to sketch in the shape of the Crimson Ghost Skull. So for this one, I decided to try out something. I had an idea to use Pax Paint as a base for the face painting. Because a lot of times when you're face painting and you're mixing watercolors together, they get money. So I thought doing a base of packs, which is prosade and acrylic paint mixed together, it would give it a base and make it not muddy. So I'm gonna try that out and we'll see how it goes. And I'm just filling in any of these areas that I have mapped out previously. On top of that prosade, I'm gonna be using a red eyeshadow to set it because prosade is sticky. It is an adhesive after all. I'd love to know what you guys are going to be for Halloween. Or what you're going to be doing. Any parties. Now we've moved into black face paint land and I'm just going to outline all the edges of the skull. And I probably won't talk a lot because this is going to take my ultimate concentration. What I like to do is outline the edges first with a fine brush and then go in with a larger brush and fill in the rest of the black areas. I am honestly so glad that my neighbors cannot see in my apartment. Otherwise they'd have my butt committed. Just filling in this negative space with a major look brush. I like her brushes a lot. They apply paint very smoothly and evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and add it into the hair too. Are any of you guys going to see this movie? I highly suggest it. It is beautiful. Oddly enough, I feel like Darth Maul. I feel like this just looks like Darth Maul. Anytime anybody does anything red and black, I'm like, Darth Maul. These paints taking forever to draw today. It's weird because it's hot outside. It's 90 degrees in LA today. 90 degrees in face paint usually does not mix. I hate cleaning my ears out after I do makeup like this. It's like you just keep finding black face paint in your ears. Now we have the distinct pleasure of setting that face paint with black eyeshadow. And I'm using a matte black eyeshadow to do this. Shiny, not shiny, shiny, not shiny. Now I'm gonna shade some of the hollows of the skull and what I'm gonna do is dip into a black eyeshadow then dip into a red and kind of mix a bit of a burgundy color, like a dark burgundy. And then I'm going to apply that underneath the cheekbones, anywhere where there's gonna be any shadows. that same black face paint I'm going to start creating some more details and I'm basically just drawing in kind of lines that mimic the shape of the skull. And where the cheekbone is you almost want to focus a lot of strokes there to help define the cheekbone and just make that area appear darker. 
You want to continue that line work around the mouth. To start highlighting everything, I'm using a red, yellow, and a white, and it makes kind of a coralish kind of color, which I think looks a little better than, say, a pink highlight. And I'm just going to apply it to kind of the detail peaks of the makeup. A lot of the detail stuff is where I'm going to put it. A lot of the cracks, some of the edges. Now I'm going to paint in the teeth using the same red face paint and they're kind of straight across. This always tickles my lips. And while we're here, let's paint in some gums. I'm going to use a black face paint to outline everything. The tickles! Ooh, I can't. Finish filling in the red for the gums. And with the black eyeshadow, I'm going to create the ridges of the gums. And then we'll highlight your teeth. For the rest of the eyelid, I'm just using the NYX black eyeshadow base and setting that with black eyeshadow. Black eyeshadow again, my friends. Knocking over stuff like always. And also you want to add black to the waterline, just using a black eyeliner. I like to sing eyeliner, apparently. It's going to black out my neck and any skin that's going to be showing. If you're going to wear this as a costume, I suggest like a robe. Something flowy and creepy like the movie. If you guys do see the movie, tell me what you think in the comments. Don't spoil it, though. Don't leave any spoiler comments, because that's just me. Let's apply some of these, shall we? These are called Nernies, and the way that you make them is to stipple liquid latex onto a flat, clean surface. You want to do about two to three layers of it. And you want to stipple it in a long, thin line. Then you wanna go ahead and paint it with acrylic paint and wait for everything to dry. And then you're gonna roll this up. I like to use my thumbs and just kind of flick at the edge until it peels up. Since liquid latex is sticky, it will stick to itself and create these beautiful intestine-like nernies. I'm gonna apply these using Prosade and these are meant to mimic the hair of the ghost. So I'm just going to stipple that to the side I'm going to start by laying them down from the bottom and working my way upwards. And that's going to wrap up this red ghoul from Crimson Peak. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely check out the movie. It is insanely beautiful. There's some beautiful shots. There's some beautiful colors. Just beautiful. And it uses so much red. And red is such a powerful color, especially in art. So that's why I thought this would would be a good one to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more. Otherwise, I gotta go wash all this off, and um, I don't look forward to that. But, oh well. Thanks guys again for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I cannot wait to... Ah, oh, sweet relief. Sweet relief. Sweet relief. Two little thin things of fabric making me so hot.